Bike Tutorial. Today we're going to look at some important differences with the Zarek Prime Mill and MCXL and to see why we use one or the other and what we can find in these secret drawers here. I do love both these two machines but they are slightly different, they do things slightly differently. Uh, there are a few do's and don'ts really. If we start with the Prime Mill, um, very nice to see the solid door on here. And then of course we have our setup here with the four motors in the same way as the MCXL. When we move in here, in the drawer we have quite a lot of compartments. The water now sits in the tank nicely tucked away here. And then we have, importantly, the driver. And this is a torque driver, so I would always stick to these two clicks and then you know that your locks are in really securely. Um, Importantly here also we have a calibration tool uh, Make sure you use the correct calibration tool for the machine as well. Don't get them mixed up And then we have the little um, Sensors here that we use instead of both when we do the calibrations uh, On the other side there's space here to have your burrs set up um, Obviously the burrs are slightly different on the prime mill. These have to be uh, Read in with the RF reader if we're moving across to the MCXL, it's a slightly different setup. Here the tank sits separately, and then we have the drawers on the side instead. Again, we recognize the calibration tools and these little things that we use for fitting and removing the burst. So it just means that you have the correct torque value on each uh, fitting. Over here is just a spare space for some blocks. When you open the door on this one, and we've got to be really careful so that you don't let that door right back. You recognize the right and left motors, and we have the same setup really. And that's the two prime machines.